Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, welcome to another episode of The Junk Guy. As you guys all know, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. I can almost fix and do anything. And uh, recently I spilled some Pepsi on my freaking uh, bloody laptop. And uh, buttons are sticky. So I'm going to clean them. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. What you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol. And a little flathead screwdriver. And come on in and I'll show you. What you're going to do is take the screwdriver. And you're going to pop it underneath the key. Just to lift it up just a bit. Okay? And then you're going to pry. And it's going to pop off. Just like that. It's not hard. It, uh, what happens is that whatever it is, is the Pepsi or your beer or whatever it is your choice of drink is. Spill in here. Just get some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. And you're just going to wipe around the inside of where the key is and the key itself and the good thing about rubbing alcohol is it dries right away and that's about it you let it dry you're going to take the key you're going to put it back on there put some pressure on it you'll hear a snap and there it's back on now little keys are all the same guys um but i you know the bigger keys are a little more difficult and I'll show you why um, I, I don't even like taking these off so to be honest with you unless you need to with the word need to don't um, again lift it up pry up just a bit okay now the difference between these keys is you've got a little metal bar if you guys can see it and once you clean it it goes in these two holes here now what's gonna happen is when you do that a lot of times and you pop that up you're gonna pop up the plastic piece now it won't break it's not broken but you're gonna have to slide it underneath this metal bar here and it's gonna gotta go it's gotta go in these clips now what's not fun as you can see I'm still screwing with it is uh, You need to uh, find something to push it in. And I just recently cut my nails. I like my nails short, so I don't have anything to uh, go by. Okay, so after you get this plastic piece in, like I said, it is difficult. You got to get these two little clips in here. You're going to take, uh, like I said, you're going to take some rubbing alcohol, dab your Q-tip thing in there, your little antler clean around it. Rubbing alcohol is going to dry right away. It's not going to hurt nothing. Don't worry about it. Just don't drink it. I don't want to be blamed for people walking around drinking bloody rubbing alcohol. Anyways, after you get that in, you're going to bring your little doohickey button here. You're going to slide it in these two holes. Once it's in the bar, you're just going to fold it down and you're going to, a little bit of pressure, click, and it's on. And it's going to be clean. It's not going to affect nothing. I wouldn't recommend doing it with your laptop on. It's a bit retarded, but uh, yeah, that's okay, about guys, it, folks. Guys, uh, thanks for coming to watch another episode of The Junk Guy. Like I said, you need some rubbing alcohol and uh, some whatever doohickey screwdriver. Like you don't spill the bloody alcohol like I just did. And don't drink it. I don't want to be responsible. Um, like I said, that's it. Don't do it with your keyboard on like I did. And uh, you guys, if you guys you want to subscribe, it's... Uh, McDonald's Sons S O N S Salvage. YouTube that you'll come up. Um, we also have a website you can check it out. Well, we fix things and do different things and you know go to the garbage dump, scrap metal stuff like that. We uh, next few episodes I'm going to show you guys how to uh, magnetize any screwdriver. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.